I like that I'm starting my day off with the two most inappropriate troublemakers of the film, <laughs> and yet I feel so at home. Oh. I don't know what you're talking about. Then you I must don't. be a troublemaker then. <laughs> it's it's got to be good to be a troublemaker. Yeah. So when we left off, you guys were in a little bit of a pickle? Menage. Something? Yeah. yeah you, we me, and a bit. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and trying to decide what to do, you right. know, because I just stole my best friend, my best friend's girl, in a sense, but he had left her for yeah, a stripper. Yeah, he already dumped me for that, you know, hoe. Pop-Tart. Pop-Tart. I was comforting her. Of course. You know, simply gentlemanly I was comfort. drunk and didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> what can we expect from Quentin and Shelby this this new Best Man holiday? Shelby will be drunk again. Right. <laughs> Shelby reloaded. That's basically what's happening. No. Um, I think you'll, you'll see the same immaturity in the association because nobody really wants to grow up until they have to. And when you're forced to deal with some of these real life circumstances, you know, some of your own faults, it kind of gives you a nice swift kick in the butt to say, you know, act like an adult. But what I love is is your character, while he is completely the man-child, he hasn't grown up, he's still the sense of common sense at a lot of moments in both films. He's still that person that he kind of lays down the law. He's a court gesture. Yeah. Mm. Court gesture, and you're, you're the female court right. gesture. Right, totally, totally. You know, always tells it like it is. Yeah. You know, the person that's not afraid to make a fool of himself because they've already made a fool of themselves. They've yeah. made you know, doing an impersonation of what they think they're supposed to be. You I know. mean, if there's ever two characters that belong together, I feel like it's right here. I know. Well, he's the male version of me, and I'm the female version of him. I mean, literally. I thought I was the female version of you. That too, <laughs> yes. I'm in drag right now. Perfect. <laughs> it works. Totally works. Um, why will AMC theater audiences love The Best Man Holiday? Because they like black people. Totally. <laughs> you know, people... people Watch black people all the time, don't they? Yes, and I mean AMC. It's a family movie. It's a holiday movie. I mean, who doesn't love holiday movies? No, and it will remind you of what's important in your life. Mm -hmm. You know, it's friends, it's family, it's forgiveness, and it's Thanksgiving all around. You know, yeah, that's important. Who doesn't love reunion? Yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much. Thank you. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to AMC Movie News on YouTube. It's free and a great way to stay updated with all the latest movie news and check out our daily show, AMC Movie Talk. Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter to stay in the loop for our special prizes, giveaways, and contests.